live. We're live. Are you live? Are you live? Really? Really? Or no live? It's been a while. What's this? A San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino from the greatest Alps of Vermilion Bay. Alps? Yeah. Hey folks, Chef Jay, and this is Lake to Plate. We have the great and talented Torn Bergaganini. That was pretty close. <laughs> Behind the uh, camera. Just going to finish off my uh, thanks. Uh, how do you say your grandma and grandpa in Italian? I, I no? How do you, what do you call them? Nana and Poppy. Not Th Italian. Thanks, no. Poppy. Tulio. Anyway, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember the last time I held when this When did camera. we do... When would... You're really what, staying what focused is... today. <laughs> when, uh, when was the last lake to play? Um, three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Was it three? No, so it was, we go like from two. doing like 15 episodes in a row to having like seven subscribers on our YouTube channel to having like thousands of people viewing us every week, eh? Yeah. No, then all of a sudden we get busy. And then what happened? We went out to Top Chef uh, Thunder Bay. No, actually, first I went out to speak. Yeah. Right? I went out to the uh, Salvation Army in Sudbury. Thank you, Salvation Army. And thank you, up north, uh, Jason Turnbull. I know you're watching, Jason Turnbull. Actually, no one's no, watching. Nobody's watching. Uh, did we lose all our viewers for taking an absolute uh, we, we didn't really have a lot of viewers. Yeah, today. to begin with, eh? So, anyway, uh, thank you, Sudbury, for uh, giving me the support. And uh, you know what was amazing about Sudbury? What's that? Is that I, uh, when I first went in there, I uh, thought I recognized a guy. <laughs> and this guy turned out to be the first guy. His name's Bruce and his wife's Marilyn, Major Bruce. And uh, he was the first guy that opened the door to the Salvation Army for me. I had not seen him since I left the Salvation Army Anchorage Booth Center in 2008. Uh, I saw him periodically in 2009, so it's been, you know, almost 10 years. So what, what are the odds of actually running into the people that actually helped you get your life together, uh, believed in you, showed you this love that they that you never saw before, and then you actually run into them? Four months that they got, they, four months, four months they only lived in Sudbury, and there I was going. That's to speak. crazy. You know what? Since it's the uh, Christmas season coming up, and the bell ringers are going to be out, maybe you could talk about some of the stuff the Salvation Army does. The so the Salvation Army has the uh, so donate right. So yeah. they have all these uh, bell ringers, and uh, you know the exciting thing about the Salvation Army is that I don't think a lot of people know that they actually have places uh, for people like me that were a wreck or a wretch or whatever you want to call it. Uh, down and out, uh, you know, because a lot of people look to the Salvation Army as a place for food or for housing or for the needy, right? They don't really look for, uh, they don't really look at the Salvation Army as a place to help or recover, you know, an alcoholic and an addict. And, uh, you know, that's the truth. The Salvation Army helps everybody. They give everybody a chance. They don't judge you. They open their doors uh, <clears throat> and they give, the, give you this unconditional love. And not only that, they support you uh, with years to come, right? Because I've been getting support yeah. for the... Uh, past 10 years you know if we knock on wood 10 years february 8th uh february 11th 2018 10 years eh hmm. that is crazy crazy shit anyway so that's exciting then from there we went to top chef thunder bay northwestern ontario unfortunately we didn't win we probably would have won but you know being the outsiders and how we changed the name that's probably why they didn't give it to us hey Torm? i think it was too many sliders too many sliders i think you're absolutely right but we had a lineup 200 deep, probably served, oh, well, we served over 520 of our, uh, it was an amazing dish, though, eh? I, it was a great one. I just think too many sliders. Too many sliders, but I mean, on, on the local side of things, uh, you know, we really hit it out of the park. That oh, was a great dish. You know, great, uh, great collaboration with all kinds of people, right? The Canadian Weiss, uh, Wild Rice Lady right there. Uh, picked the blueberries for the aioli. Brady Cross at the Supper Ferry, uh, Baked these amazing uh, herb buns, herb sliders. Right? Yeah, they were delicious. We had the amazing northern pipe that came from the great and talented Wayne Pepompe, who actually just pulled up with fresh, with fresh. Wow, with fish. Uh, he could smell <coughs> the food being cooked. He could smell the food being cooked. Uh, and then we had uh, local loon vodka, right? That was in there. Yeah. And we had Fifth Avenue Farms. Let's give a shout out to Fifth Avenue yeah, Farms. They did the amazing greens. the micro greens and the Juliet tomatoes. Um, all in all, an amazing weekend, right? That was great. Tons of uh, tons of exciting things going on. We haven't had a lot of fish, have we? End of season. 
End of season. It's cold. Cold. Winter winter rolled in like you wouldn't believe. Hit like a ton of bricks. Hit like a ton of bricks. Bada boom, bada bing, smash. And, uh, but, but, we still have the great and talented. If you took a look at that, would you think it is what you know what it is? Um, I would say it's a white fish that hasn't been bled properly. A white fish that hasn't been bled properly. Interesting concept. That was from Chef Torin. Um, so... I look at that and I do not think that that is a mullet. Do you? No. Nope. No, neither do I. Uh, that actually looks like a haddock or a cod or a whitefish that hasn't been blood properly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we did do three recipes with the mullet, the sucker, whatever you want to call it. Underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish. And this is our fourth one, right? This is it for the sucker. So I had to come up with something amazing, didn't I? It's a real gourmet dish. This is really a gourmet dish. So uh, let's just take this, like, that is a beautiful presentation, eh? On an underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish. Isn't that sexy? Oh, it's great. You think Thunder Bay can do something like that? I really do No, they just take dried out white fish and put it on a plate, eh? Okay, Before anyways. Before we get into that, can we <laughs> talk about this Nutri-Grill that's taking up all the space? Nutri-Grill? Oh, Nutri-Grill! Hey, Nutri-Grill. So, uh... In the coming weeks, Freshwater Cuisine and Lake the Plate are going to be using this amazing Nutri-Grill that Donatella, how do you say her last name? Arpea. 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 Who was a judge on Iron Chef. Iron Chef and she's a restaurateur. And our great and talented and friend out in Winnipeg, Stephen McMillan, has hooked us up with this Nutri-Grill. So... The beautiful thing about the Nutri-Grill is it actually has a grill on the top, and then it has, uh, I don't want to call it a well. It's kind of like a well. It's like a well. So you can put like a liter of stock in there. So we're going to get really creative and do some maybe northern pike stock or walleye stock or maybe even mullet stock. And then we're going to get even more creative, and you can add your local vegetables in there. You could probably do a fondue in there, eh? Like cheese or even chocolate. How about dipping? fish and chocolate no some, probably not some cheeks would go nice some cheeks some would go that, there you go <clears throat> so we could probably do some cheeks in there uh the best thing is is it's 500 on the top then it goes 100 put your vegetables in steam it it's a great party um it's great for having parties up to I, six I people it right teaches kids how to eat healthy Te teaches kids how to eat healthy and uh as seen on tv they're retailing for uh, 158 bucks uh you know send us a an email at freshwater cuisine Nope, sales at freshwatercuisine.com, or more importantly, j at freshwatercuisine.com, and we'll hook you up with skids, skids, folks. I know you want skids of these. It's Christmas time. Walmart, Home Hardware, Canadian Tire, Frosted Foods, Mr. Doug Johnson. You need a few of these on your uh, shelf, doesn't he? I think he needs, uh, yeah, skids worth. Okay, let's get the new. Okay, Nutra Grill out of here. We will be getting, uh, we will be cooking with that very shortly. Who's that, the great and talented Wayne? It's Winston. Hey, Winston, we're uh, just uh, just videotaping our cooking show, so uh, we'll be with you in about five or ten minutes. So uh, we're using mullet today, and uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it in the puff pastry, right? So we're going to cut this down here, Torin. When did you make the puff pastry? When did I make the puff pastry? I made it last night. Yeah. When I, when I had some time to myself, I made the puff pastry. So this piece right here, back piece, this piece right here, full of bones. See you later. Then we just trim this up here. Now we're going to take our lucky little butter over here. So we put uh, butter and where's that maple syrup from again? Uh, we got it through the clover mill. This one here, no? No, no, it's over. Oh, that maple syrup. Isn't this from the... Yeah, wildly Canadian. So that is local, isn't it? Uh, it's based out of Thunder Bay. Based out of Thunder Bay. Okay, so we put a little bit of the butter and maple syrup on here. We got some herbs. We got there. some uh, garlic. We got some uh, dill. I feel like you were just throwing whatever you I was throwing there. whatever I could find in there because we didn't have anything. A little Grace's favorite probably would be yeah, nice. That would have been nice, eh? Okay, then we're going to take the... Uh... No, nope, we're going to go with spinach. Some spinach. We got our oven set at 400, folks. Takes about, uh, what, 20 minutes? 25 or so. 25 or... Okay, we're going to put the fish in there. No bones about that sucker. No bones no bones about it. <clears throat> and then we're going to put this piece in here. Where are we going to put this piece, Torn? I just ran out that. Yeah, we're not going to put no, that in there. Just okay, just like that. Then we're going to take... Nope. Then we're going to take this 
What do we got here? Cranberry and apple chutney I made. How come you don't make any of these things on the show? Well, you know, we were going 45 minutes there, right? Eh? Yeah, they were getting a little <laughs> lengthy. <laughs> they were getting a little lengthy, so this is local local apples, Torn. Local apples. What's local? You know, I, I hear if you can't make your own, Safeways makes a very nice cranberry apple chutney. I hear that too, actually. How did you hear that? Yeah, word on the street. Our favorite cheese, what is this? What is it Cambarera? <laughs> Cambazola! I was close. Close. This is a uh, blue cheese with brie, right? That's yeah, tasty. It's very tasty. It goes great with the... Uh, sucker? With the sucker. Okay, let's get rid of this. That's garbage too. All bones about it. All bones about it in there. Okay, so, what are we missing? Oh, some almonds? Yeah, don't forget the almonds. Don't forget the almonds. Slivered them myself. Slivered. Are those local? Yeah, local Kenora almonds. Local almonds, okay. So then you just roll this up. Like as if you're rolling up a big fatty. Wow. No? Well, what? It's going to be legal. We can talk like that, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We can. What, the recovery guy can't make jokes about it? Or what? You tell me. You tell me. Look at that. <clears throat> Beautiful. Then we grab our pan right here. Torn's favorite. Pan. Is your girlfriend named Pan? No. I went to school with a girl named Pan once. Did you know? Yeah, she was... Beautiful. How nice is that, eh, Torn? Boom. Now we take uh, our little knifey knifey. Put a little uh, couple slits in the top. Why? Let's out the steam. It let's out the steam. Wow. Let's the, uh, pop here. I like my red I seal think. now. Okay, from there we put a little bit more of our uh, butter, maple syrup, garlic, herbs. Whatever you can find in there. Whatever you can find in your pantry. Loon vodka would be good, but it went missing. Would <laughs> be good on top of a puff pastry. Boom, in the oven, 25, 35 minutes, 400. Beautiful? Beautiful. Okay, now what we're going to do is use our amazing, this is our winter squash. Our only squash left in the house, eh? Technically, it's a trailer. Technically, trailer. Okay, we're going to take the seeds out like I told you before, though. When are you cooking the seeds? We can cook the seeds sometime. Just not today. <laughs> this is really easy, Torn. Take that all off. Then we're going to put that right there. Now we're just going to cut. We're going with some big uh, big chunks today. Yeah. Rustic. Going for the rustic. I don't rust know if that's the, that term actually applies. You like the rustic one? No, I just don't feel like rustic is the right terminology there. Really? Well, I think I like it. There's a seed. Look, see, the seed is telling me to use it. The seed would be rusty. Okay, now we're going to take some of our... Uh, this is from the clover belt, isn't yeah. it? Is it maple butter? Maple butter. We're going to add some of our maple butter in here. I hear there's a lot of regulations in the butter industry. I heard that too. Who did you hear that from? Yeah, word on the street. <laughs> word on the street has it. Okay, we're going to put that in there. It smells nice. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. Apparently, you can just eat eat it by the spoonful. Yeah, that would be. That, that's probably just a heart attack. That's probably just happen. a heart attack. Why don't you take a spoonful? Try it out. Uh, no, thank you. <clears throat> then we're gonna toss in some almonds. Might as well use all of our fifty-four dollar almonds. Fifty dollar. Got it. How easy was that, though, eh? Just that simple. It's that simple. Then we're gonna put them on our uh, sheet pan. Easy corn. This is an easy dish, but very festive, very off, uh, you know. I don't know if it's actually festive. Well, it's got almonds and it's got I, I don't, cranberries. I don't think almonds are festive. They are. Uh, almonds are festive? I don't think an almonds. Festive. Maybe someone watching can decide whether almonds are festive or not. We actually have people watching. We got five people watching. And I bet you they don't think almonds are festive. They're festive! They'll go with the chef. Okay, in the oven. You know what is festive? A candy can. You want to cook a fish with a candy can? <laughs> Well, if, if it's Christmas time, I can. So it's getting close. It's getting close. So, uh, while that cooks, let's talk about next week. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a great time to talk about next week. So, uh, next week, how, before I say next week, how fast was that? What was it, like 30 seconds? That How easy is that? Puff pastry done, boom, vegetables ready, rolling it up, boom, vegetable cut, boom, un, all roasted. 
Next week, we're pairing up with the uh, local... Well, we're doing a four-part series. We're doing a four... Are we doing... Is it four well, or three? Is it? I don't know. Well, we're, we're doing three... It's Once doing a month for a while. Jen Spriggett, if you're watching, is it three or four? Don't know. I think it's three or four. Once a month. We're pairing up with the uh, Clover Belt. The Love Local Boxes. The Love Local Boxes. Fits for the all show your love well. chef needs, I'm going to be... Uh, Torn and I are going to be bringing you the dish... That is in the Love Local Box. Yes. The day after you pick up your Love Local Box. So you will pick your boxes up on Tuesday. And Wednesday, we'll go live on our Facebook at 3 p.m. Because we're always early. Right? Yeah, and you just follow along. And next week, we're going to be using the great and talented Tulipy. Tilapia? Tulipy. Mm. It's called Tilapia in Thunder Bay. But it's called Tulipy here in Northwestern Ontario and Kenora, Ontario. Because we are the fishmongers of the north, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're going to be using tulipy. Is that exciting? That's super exciting. So tulipy is an underrated, underutilized, undervalued fish. Kind of like the sucker. Kind of like the sucker. But the tulipy is part of the... the salmon family. Salmon family. So it has all the acids and funny things and all the healthy things to make your brain go smart. Essential oils. Essential and, uh, oils. Fatty omega acids. So why do you think people don't use... Tulipy. Well, I've never actually seen it anywhere. That'd be the first problem. Really, eh? No. Because they are full in the lake. Well, there's lots of them. And the other exciting thing about the tulipy... The other exciting thing about the tulipy is that... Um, What's coming out of that closet? Oh, nothing. What? What's happening over okay, there? Yeah, you know what? Wait, I, you just couldn't... It was peekaboo. Okay. You know, like... It's your daughter in there? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. You know the other exciting thing, Torn? <clears throat> we almost forgot. It's the anniversary. It is November 15th, isn't it? One year ago, me and staff that are no longer with me <laughs> moved in here. Moved into the fish plant. I've been, we have been here for one whole year. Back then it was Walleye Wings Inc. It was Walleye Wings Inc. And uh, my great friend Robert Allen Armstrong and Mon B, who is now the uh, lunch lady out at where? I think he prefers the term lunch man. Lunch man? Or lunch reslum. <laughs> Anyways, those two were with me a year ago and helped me get, uh, helped us get off the ground. And a year later, we're still here, right? We got a live show. We have, uh, what else do we have going on? Oh, uh, well, we got a new name. We have a new name. We have the great and talented Winston Pay Pompey here. We also probably have Wayne. Is yeah, Wayne here? Wayne just walked in. Hey, Wayne. So, uh, it's exciting that Freshwater Cuisine has been here for a year, hasn't it? That's great. Right, okay, let's First play. of many to come. First of many to come. So, because we're going to be here for a year, we're going to plate on our nice and talented... See, that would actually be rustic. That, that would be this is rustic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that would be rustic. Very rustic. So, we're going to plate our beautiful dish, which was a white sucker stuffed inside puff pastry with a local Safeway apple cranberry chutney. Didn't you make the chutney? Uh, no, you made the chutney. You Safeway. said you made it last night while you were home alone. I was. Actually, my two-year-old daughter made it. How about that? Yeah. Live from Safeway. Then we used the great and talented Cambazola cheese. We used local spinach picked from our local Safeway. And almonds. Also picked from the local Crazy, Safeway. Crazy, eh? So, in we go. That was pretty fast. That was fast it? as can be. Okay, so. Beautiful winter squash. Isn't that nice, Tony? Do they make summer squash too? Fall squash, spring squash? Oh, it's winter time. You gotta call it winter squash, no? Why don't you call it winter squash? Well, it's actually fall, technically. Is it's it just fall? as cold as the Ooh. winter. Ah, hey, that's hot. Okay, so over here we're gonna get our uh, little saucy saucy going, eh, Tony? What, what are we making there? So, uh, didn't we you? Uh, this is the great and talented Rose. Rose? Joe's wife's raspberry homemade jam, local raspberry homemade jam, right? Yeah. So we took that, we added it to the garlic and the uh, dill. And the maple. And the maple. <clears throat> what else was in there? Uh, I, I really don't know. I don't know. Look how sexy this thing turned out, Torn. Is this beautiful? This is local mullet caught by our local fisherman in puff pastry with local spinach. Beautiful, isn't it? That, that is rustic now, isn't it? Mark? It's very rustic. Then we're going to finish it off with some sauce. Let's add a little bit of water in there, Torn. Is the water good here or what? That's the finest. 
Finest water in the world, right? Finest water on 18th Sunnyside Road. <laughs> Beauty. Is that sexy? That's that beautiful. is sexy. Where's your almonds? Hold on. We're not done yet. No. Oh. Okay, and then we're going to put the uh, roasted almonds that we did. Now it's sexy. You know what I'm missing? What's that? Fifth Avenue Farms Greens. I was thinking some loon vodka. Loon vodka too. <clears throat> What's exciting about that dish? Uh, it's made a suck. Underutilized, undervalued, underappreciated mullet. Could you tell that that's mullet? Absolutely not. You can barely tell. What would something like that point. go like? For in the story, I think. That's a $25.99 plate, right? Yeah. Here at Freshwater Cuisine, we use the underutilized, undervalued, unappreciated fish to show you how to cook sexy. Next week, we're doing the Love Local Boxes with the Clover Belt. Banging out tulipy next week, actually for the next no, no, four weeks. Well, technically four weeks, but we got to do the middle of, we got to do Northern Pike, we got to do Tulipy, and we got to do Sucker again with the Love Local Boxes. But in between, we're going to be doing Tulipy all four weeks in a row, correct? Is that correct? Bye-bye.